I did the sonar placement scheme on the Flood Forecasting Centre. So I'm a member of the Mobile Met Unit, which is the uniform side of the Met Office. We could be maintaining the instruments that go on the aircraft, um, or we could be building the future instruments that will be going on the aircraft. I am the first point of contact between the public, external customers and internal users. I trained as a forecaster, so now I am a trainer of forecasters or operational meteorologists or indeed scientists. I support operational systems that bring data into the Met Office, create products from them and send them out to the public and to private businesses. People can just literally have a concept and uh, it's over to me to create something, to produce something that really um, meets the target audience and that looks great. There are lots of opportunities that you can go on and actually work in other areas so that is a very beneficial thing about working for the Met Office from business to science to aviation to defence. And the fact that meteorology has such a huge impact on so many of us in our lives and the fact that we're always in the media, I think gives it something extra special as well. Being such a, almost a, an institution for, for the country and for the world, that does feel, feel really good to be a part of. It's a very scientific culture, I would say. Um, you know, that, that is what we're about, the Met Office. You know, we are at the forefront of, uh, of weather prediction. What I do notice here is the, is the kind of range and breadth of knowledge and skills. I think it's a real can-do culture. Um, we all pull together if we need to. And that means that if you're stuck, there's someone who's willing to help you get around the problem, use their expertise to help solve, make things that bit quicker and that makes it a great place to work. Of course it can at times of severe weather become quite, uh, quite challenging and quite busy uh, but it's always really quite flexible and quite a fluid environment to work in. You turn up for work happy and you leave work happy. Everyone's equally talented, everyone's professional and so there's no barriers to learning things and doing things, you just, you're one of the team. I have worked in other large organisations but I think the thing that does make a difference here is that mix between the science and business and government. I'm a team leader forecaster uh, here at Aberdeen. There's so many different things that affect the weather, to different impacts that uh, you can't always be sure what's going to meet you and greet you when you turn up in the morning. So. Yeah, no two days are the same. It's not just a, a forecasting specific or forecasting focused area of work. You've got loads of scientists working on the top floor and looking into weather and climate, not just for the next year, but tens or hundreds of years. And that's right there for you to use if you want to. And the problems that we're working on in terms of climate science and weather science, they're engaging and you want to go and find that answer. I think there's quite big opportunities here. In terms of training, the Met Office is great. They will encourage you and talk to you and discuss the ways forward uh, with your career. And that might not just be in your own area, that might be across office. So Working at the Metal is actually that nice, happy balance between the industrial corporate world and the academic world. The Met Office values its staff, their real assets. And I often feel like a, a real asset, not just someone who's here to do a job and then go home. I do feel valued and I think that sets it apart. Well, being a little bit of a geek certainly helps. I've been really into the weather for, oh goodness, the last 10, 15 years or so. So that helps me and the fact that I can come to work and it's different every day is really exciting. It's a lot to do with satisfaction and, and, and working in an environment that you're very interested in. And there's huge potential to get involved in all different projects across the office. I've been across to Gibraltar, I've worked through Germany, and uh, we also we have people in Rwanda at the moment and Singapore. So I also work offshore quite frequently and I work with the, the wave models um, very directly. You know, the impacts of what we forecast are, are huge to uh, our customers. We've got a programme at the moment where IT trainees come in. They've, they've all been fantastic. You don't need a degree to apply for that, but you come in and you get to move around different teams to find out what you're best at. And pretty much everybody stayed, they loved working here, and have all progressed up to higher, more senior roles. I think for someone my age, development is a massive factor. Um, they're very keen to develop you, and as I've just graduated, it's really um, great that an employer wants to do that. Well, the main thing is knowing that today isn't going to be the same as yesterday. So there's no humdrum here, especially in my job. It's always different, there's always something new to do. Yeah, the opportunities for you to, to progress in your career uh, are there. You know, they will encourage learning. We have our own college. To be able to combine my love of meteorology, my love of forecasting with actually teaching is, for me, is, is the best job in the world. It's not all about work, it's about um, uh, engaging other communities. We get out and get the public involved in our science and we get the public involved in science and technology in general. 
hoping to inspire new people to get into the career. People in my team are involved with local schools through a project called STEM, which is science and technology, engineering and mathematics. It's a group of about 100 of us now across the office um, who get involved in going into schools or giving careers talks, attending careers fairs, but also as occasions doing fun things like going to music festivals and trying to engage with the public in a way we haven't done before. If you want to get stuck into a lunchtime club or an after after work event, then great, people are all for it and the opportunities are there. Several runners groups where I go out with a group of women every week and I've also in the past involved in um, doing lunchtime language club as well, learning Spanish. If you're sporty we obviously have the gym but there's also the cycle to work scheme and there's also a great pension which is a bit weird for someone my age to say but it's something that's quite relevant. I'm six months pregnant and the benefits that I can get um, through maternity leave and my partner's paternity leave is just incredible and I feel very privileged to work here. I'd say fulfilling, as a forecaster and meteorologist especially, that every day is different, no weather situation is identical. I think it's just a nervous love of the weather. Uh, I, weather really appeals to me in any shape or form. Um, so the fact that I can go and work in something that I'm particularly interested in makes me get out of bed in the morning. I would say diverse, given the number of different jobs you can do, and the impact we have on so many people and so many walks of life. I think one word's very difficult, but I would say worthwhile. I would use the word energetic to describe it because everything feels fresh, everything feels dynamic, we're always on the go, we're always doing something different. So the one word I'd use to describe the meta this would be the word people. And um, this is because they don't only focus on their staff and their needs, but they also provide an excellent customer service to the public. And the Met Office are preparing to uh, listen to your ideas and take on board your ideas, so it's, uh, it's a great place to work, fun. It's a great set of people and a great set of problems, it means you want to get up every day and you want to go to work. So the word I'd use, actually it seems silly to use words for me, so this is where I'm going to get my pen out. The thing that I would use, or the drawing I would do, to describe the Met Office, it's got to be a sun, and it's got to have a little smiley face. I just love my job, that's, that's all I need. If you can walk away and think, do you know what, a lot of people's lives or a lot of properties have been saved because of our organisation, there's, there's no bigger satisfying feeling that you're working in an organisation directly responsible for that. I say it's really interesting. Weathery. And I think that's it, it's the whole, you know, weather is changeable, the job is changeable, you know, and that's what appeals to me.